thought, number one, I want to take my hat off to uh, Green Bay and their fans. Just a terrific, terrific atmosphere. Uh, always one of my favorite places to come in the preseason. Um, it feels like the, the regular season when you come in here, whether it's the first, second, third, fourth game uh, to Green Bay and their team. I think, uh, again, until Monday, I think they're the world champs, not even the defending world champs yet. And, and I think you could see some reasons why they're a, they're a tough team that uh, has a lot of good players that play hard and play throughout the game. That being said, our team, um, I thought uh, we did a lot of things to get better tonight. Um, as we've talked about here with uh, how we were going to do things, we were uh, going to build up uh, from a conditioning strength standpoint uh, throughout the preseason and try to build to uh, uh, this game, if you will, um, knowing that now we'll have, you know, we're limited time here, about uh, five practices. Uh, for real practices to get ready now for uh, the Buffalo Bills um, in September 11th. So, you know, I thought there were a lot of good things out there. I thought we showed uh, defensively after the first drive, did a lot of good things, even in some tough situations, held them to field goals after turnovers. Um, really throughout the game, other than the first drive, I thought our defense did a terrific job. They competed, they created some turnovers. Um, I thought uh, offensively, uh, it took us a little while to get the run game going. Uh, don't feel like we ever quite got it there. Uh, turnovers uh, uh, seemed to catch up to us somewhere along the line at, at the most critical points along with penalties. And with this team, as I've said, a, uh, a bunch. You know, we're just not to a position yet where we can afford to turn the ball over carelessly um, or have penalties at inopportune times you know, that set us back. And, and, and that will keep us from winning games just like it did tonight. So. You know, I did appreciate their fight. I appreciate every player that was in that locker room, as I just told them, that uh, uh, everybody can't stay, but everybody's going to be part of what the Kansas City Chiefs become uh, in 2011. So um, uh, well, I do uh, I want to uh, commend all the guys for really putting everything they had into it. And unfortunately, you know, we can't keep everybody. But uh, I like our team. I like the direction we've gone in uh, from the start here. And, and we've got some work to do. But, uh, you know, uh, Real stuff starting uh, here in a couple of days. Can you talk about Matt and just uh, how he played, and also the sudden run and play as deep as he did in the beginning. Well, again, you know, this was uh, this was really more like a, a third game for us, but really even more than that because uh, you know our guys have not played a lot, and and again, according to the way we were going to do things and try to get guys into a position where they were um, had had a chance to really get their bodies in a position to compete you know, in a football game for more than a, you know, handful of plays, that's what we wanted to do. And I feel like, you know, we were successful doing it. Matt's just one of those guys, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he wanted to go back in. I think the uh, prudent thing was to, to be smart there, but I thought he, he played real well while he was in there uh, for the most part, uh, uh, did a nice job uh, moving the football and unfortunately got dinged up a little bit. But uh, like I said, you know, he, uh, he was fighting to try to get back in. Okay uh, again, I'm you know it, 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 I'm not uh, overly concerned. Did you, did you think he was sharper than, or was he as sharp as you wanted him to be? 15 to 17, I think it was. I mean, did you see what you wanted to see out of him in a game like this? Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, I you know the plan was to play more. Um, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. But uh, at the same time, Tyler was able to get some uh, critical snaps and experience that he needs desperately. Um, and really, that was the fine line we were trying to walk with a lot of guys, you know, who was competing for spots, who needed the work, you know, and that's a, that's a tricky subject, you know, especially in a year like this year where, you know, the name of the game is being ready September 11th. And, uh, you know, I think we did everything we could to, to put ourselves in position to be ready. You know, now we got to just uh, uh, get on to Buffalo and uh, get ready to go. You know, the Chase Hunt and the uh, um, onside kick, were those part of the plan? Things done tonight or? More, Adam, uh, again, uh, you know, that's something that in season, uh, you know, I like to, to have at our disposal. You know, that's something that you don't really get to practice in live situations. So to me, um, it was less about trying to get something going, more about let's get some practice in, uh, in real situations, uh, some plays that are plays that will run, you know, I would think or have a good chance to run at some point throughout the year. And, and again, to me, those plays get overlooked. You know, you practice them a couple times, and then 
you run them in a big game. So I just thought, you know, uh, let's get some work at that. Try to, you know, we were we one we were good on, one we weren't so good. Um, you know, I would have liked to have uh, executed the onside a little better, uh, but uh, you know, that cop made a heck of a play on the punt. You know, I'm, I haven't thought a lot about that, Sam. You know, that, like I said, we've been focused on the Chiefs um, and getting ourselves ready to go. So, again, these are preseason games, and, and in the end, um, you know, they're not going to count towards what we do. You know, but the preparation and the play time and the experience and the work that we get in, in these live games is very, very critical. The score, not so much, you know, though we'd, we'd like to win every time we go out there. And we were fighting like heck to win, but... Uh, you know, I'm a little less concerned about score, a little less concerned about who Green Bay was playing. Again, you look at it, you know, uh, something that I uh, wanted to point out to our team was that this is a team that lost, uh, you know, a ton of guys to IR during the year last year, and they were still able to get what everybody wanted. Um, you know, and so you don't know who you're playing. You know, you really don't know who you're playing uh, because, you know, last year you were playing that we were playing those same guys, and a bunch of them went in and and we're part of that team winning the Super Bowl. So, um, you know, that's the way I look at it. You know, they're a good team with good depth and good players. And there's a reason why they were able to beat everybody in the league last year. So, uh, you know, I, I just was really excited about this opportunity for our team. And I think we, we got a lot out of it. Uh, again, atmosphere, team you're playing, play time, all those things, I feel like we got a lot out of. Late in the game, you had uh, Brandon Albert still in there. Uh, defensively, you had both your starting corners in there. Was that the plan going in, or was that developed during the game to say, let's win this thing? No, no. It was, that was all part of <laughs> this plan is taken on. That was all part of uh, on schedule. You know, again, uh, everything didn't go exactly as scheduled because I kind of was really counting on it being about 55 degrees at kickoff, and this heat wave came back. So that was one of the things that didn't go according to plan. But when the preseason schedule came out, you know, and you're thinking Green Bay, late August, uh, September, that it's got a chance to be nice and cool. And if that's the game you're playing your guys a bunch, you know, that would uh, bode well for keeping guys fresh. But that being said, you know, I thought it was a great test for our guys. Um, I told them all before, you know, uh, three weeks ago, you know, that this game, it planned to play the whole thing. That way you won't be disappointed one way or another. Now, you know, we got some guys out, uh, you know, and we did do, you know, we had a pretty heavy rotation at some position. So, um, certain places were just not real deep, and then we had a couple of the guys get dinged up, which forced us to not be able to rotate anybody a whole bunch. Any of those other injuries uh, significant? Uh, I don't know enough uh, yet right now, Adam. You, you know, it's when we do, uh, I'll, I'll be able to give you some more. You mentioned the turnovers before. Uh, you know, these are specifically Mr. Moss, two fumbles. I mean, one of them right outside the red zone. Well, you know, we can't turn the football over. And, and we did it, uh, we've done it too much here. We've done it in practice a few times. That's troubling, I think. Again, that may reflect a little bit on um, um, how we had to start this training camp, you know, not being in pads. And when we're not in pads, some of the ball security things, uh, you know, it's what we've talked about as a staff, that we need to catch up at the back end and make sure, you know, we're doing enough ball security. We obviously haven't done enough. Um, so when we're in pads, you know, we've already talked about it again, we need to be uh, working all our ball security drills, uh, you know, in our, you know, 24-7 because, again, we can't put the ball on the ground, you know, and just when we got things going, you know, and started to move the ball, especially on the ground, you know, that it seemed like, you know, the turnovers were occurring and obviously we let them back in the game with a couple throws, so, uh, and a handoff, missed handoff, so, you know, we just got to get on it and again, luckily, you know, this, these games, you know, don't count towards uh, our final, so, uh, we're 0-0, uh, getting ready to, to go for the Buffalo Bills. So you don't think it's a, a, an issue temporary as it may be with Jamal, just more of a hangover, I guess, from the no, I, I just think ball security is ball security. You got you to gotta protect the football. You know, and we had it come out. Dwayne got it punched out from behind, which I thought was a great effort by the corner. But we can't allow that to happen. You know, those are things we coach, 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 coach. You know, we, we – now, luckily, defensively, we created some and special teams, you know, and that will be the – Equalizer, you know, if you if you do turn it over some, you know, your defense and your special teams, you got to create turnovers. But you know, you need to end up in the plus, and uh, you know, we need to end up well in the plus, I think, to be a good team this year. By approaching this game the way you did, does it, does it make it tougher? 
evaluations on the back end of your roster with the 27 guys you have to you know, I think they got a ton of play time, more play time than maybe they would have in a normal year. So I think it kind of all balanced out when it was all said and done. Thank you.